I have a number of fire truck kits in my collection, and I even have some sealed ones on display in the office, but up until now, I've never built one. Recently, I've been inspired to start a fire truck project in 125th scale for a couple of reasons. One of these was meeting fellow YouTuber David Parsley in person and being able to talk trucks and emergency vehicles with him. Another was being given this particular kit recently as a gift by a retired member of our department who often drops by and has seen my collection on display in the office. When building trucks in model form, I like to replicate a specific prototype as closely as possible and I wanted to take a similar approach with this model project. And I found an interesting prototype in New York City's one and only Ladder Chief. This was a 900 series show demonstrator built by American LaFrance in 1969. And the option list actually comes pretty close to AMT's kit, including the Detroit diesel engine. It entered service with Tactical Control Unit 732, as shown here, and remained assigned to this company until damaged in a collision in December of 1971. After being rebuilt, it was assigned to various other ladder companies, including 176, shown here, and 166, and also as a spare unit at the end of its career. I've decided to model truck 176, because I like the fact that it still has the big Fedro Q siren, and I also like the spirit of 76 plate on the front, which the crew added during the bicentennial. The price tags on the end are a time capsule in themselves, because it's been a long time since 893, or even 1297, would get you a truck kit up here in Canada. Currently, about the best price I've seen for a ladder chief kit is around $70, and they go anywhere up to 100 to 110 here. On to the model itself. I was surprised to see that the front wheels were molded with the handhold wheels filled in solid. This was easy to correct by drilling some 1 32nd holes and then trimming out the excess with a hobby knife. Silver spray paint on 176's wheels really shows up the split in the locking ring, which was very common on trucks of that era. Because AMT provides separate wheel rings, this is easy to model by first removing the chrome from the kit parts, then taking a razor saw and cutting the ring as shown. After filing the cut end smooth, glue the ring in place, and the resulting gap will look just like the split ring on the real truck wheel. A detail that is missing from the kit is front brake drums. I sourced a pair from my parts box, which I believe may be from an AMT MACR kit, but I don't know for sure. The center hole was drilled out to quarter inch, so it would fit nicely on the inside of the front wheel. At the other end of the truck, I'm going to replace the kit's rear shock absorbers with some more realistic ones, and a first step to doing this is plugging the large holes in the rear axle housing. I like to plug holes using stretch parts runner, which is attached with solvent cement and trimmed off flush when the cement has cured thoroughly. Cast texture was added to the brake drums and axle housing by stippling on primer surfacer with a short bristled brush. This is a technique that I picked up from watching another YouTuber, Florentino Rebuilding Company, and that's a channel well worth checking out. Well, that's all I have for this fire truck project for now. The next stuff will be assembly of the basic chassis and getting the running gear put together. So I'll update in a few days when I get some more progress.